So I've just gone for a wander and found a beautiful nettle patch. Nettles galore everywhere. We have picked up our three carrier bags of nettles and they're all behind me. Perfect. So we're going to give them a quick wash out, wash them over, get rid of any potential green fly or bird poo, whatever might be on the nettles that we don't want to add to our ginger beer. Nettle beer! <laughs> what am I making today? Nettle beer. Right, yes. So nettle beer. Once you've washed your nettles, you want to add them to the biggest saucepan or stock pot that you have. Shove them straight in. If your nettles don't quite fit into your pot, as mine don't, you have two options. First of all, you can add your boiling water so the nettles reduce down and then add the rest of them. Or you can also ask Santa Claus for a bit of pot. So I'm going to add the boiling water now to reduce the nettles down before we carry on adding more nettles. Pour over your boiling water. You want to add about a gallon's worth to the pot with your nettles. You can see the nettles reducing down and shrinking as you add the boiling water. With your nettles added to your pan and your boiling water, you want to bring it up to the boil and simmer for about a quarter of an hour or 20 minutes. You also want to add some grated ginger to the concoction. So I'm going to chop my ginger and add it and bring it to the boil. I'll be back in a minute now. And cover and ignite. Well hey, quarter of an hour later, your nettles have been boiling up and simmering. So now you want to put them into your fermenting bucket. But first up, you want to add two and a half kilos of sugar without spilling it everywhere. Then strain your juice from the nettles into your pot. Well, look at that beautiful green. With your boiling liquid added to your bucket, you want to give it a good stir, mix up all the sugar, dissolve it. The colour is absolutely beautiful, it is. Very dark, deep green brown, and it smells divine. You also want to add the juice of four lemons. This recipe should make about 36 beer bottles full of nettle beer, which is fantastic. Brilliant for summer. Talking of action shots. All these wonderful nettles are fantastic if you add them to your compost heap. They are brilliant for it. Anyway, what you want to do with your nettle beer now is add water up to your four gallon mark. You want to add a sachet or a teaspoon of cream of tartar. This does a really good job at helping break down the sugar from fructose to glucose, which is what you want. It helps the fermentation to start quickly and become brilliant. It's basically like the yeast nutrients. You could add marmite, but never tried that before. I'm not using wine yeast or brewer's yeast today. I'm using bread yeast. I've always wondered if you can use bread yeast in wine. And I'm thinking I will do an experiment at some point to find out if you can. So today I'm using some bread yeast because that's what people say works best for nettle beer. So I'm going to go with the trend and try it. You're adding one sachet of baker's yeast to your four gallons of liquid. And that concludes making up your nettle beer. 
I'm now going to place this bucket in a warm place, cover, insert an airlock and leave it for five days before I bottle it. Music